Welcome back to our live show. Our next guest recently released her very first book. It's a children's book that shows and celebrates the differences of all people. Here's her conversation with Evan Armour. Our next guest is a local author who's written a children's book celebrating our differences. It's called Good to Be Me, and it is so good to have author Jessica Parham with us here on Virginia this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. So good to have you here with us. Excited to be talking about your new book, but I want to jump right in and learn a little bit more about what inspired you to write it in the first place. Well, I have a five and a four-year-old who ask one million questions a day, and they started to ask why they were different than each other and why certain friends look different than them. And I tried to find a book to help us kind of guide them a little bit into why we're all different and why we should celebrate why we're different. And I couldn't find it. Um, so I just decided to write it. That's incredible. What would you say is the goal behind the book? I want kids to feel that they are proud of who they are, that they are proud of their differences. I remember when I was in elementary school, and I got teased a lot because my nose is a little bit more pronounced. Um, and I was so insecure about it well into my adulthood. And I finally decided I was gonna celebrate it. It is a part of who I am and I am going to love it. And I want kids to see their differences, whether it's skin tone, disability, body type, whatever it is, I want them to see those differences and say, that's me and I love it. Um, so that's that's the goal for me. I want all kids to just love themselves and to love what makes them different and what makes their family different, what makes their friends different. What kind of response have you had so far from people who have read the book and come up to you and talk to you about, or maybe they read it with their kids and what kind of feedback are you getting um, from people who've been able to sit down and really hear the story and digest it and have a conversation with their family? I've gotten really positive feedback, which has been great because it's always so nerve wracking. You don't know how it's going to hit. But a lot of moms have DM'd me and said that their kid has seen themselves for the very first time in a bedtime story, or they've seen their grandmother and there's been tears on my end and on their end because they're represented for the first time. And that's a huge thing. I've heard representation this whole it's been two weeks <laughs> since it's been out and for two weeks i've gotten these dms that have just been like thank you my son has a limb difference and he has seen himself playing basketball in the book and my daughter has seen her grandmother for the first time with her skin difference and i have gotten emotional way more times than i care to admit from these messages and i'm overwhelmed with gratitude so the book has been out for a couple of weeks now. What was the process like for you from the very beginning when you were searching for a book like this and couldn't find it and then decided, I'm just going to write it? How long ago was that before you actually had it in your hands? So that was back in February of this year. And I contacted the publisher. They were like, yes, we're in. Let's do it. About two months ago, things were wrapped up with finalizing the PDFs and everything. And it got sent to the printer and I was supposed to have it released in October officially, but because of COVID, everything's gotten backed up. So um, yeah, it's been a, almost a year, but it's been a great process. Well, it's a topic that's so important for all of us to you know, be focused on and be cognizant of, but who would you say sort of is the target audience for this book? Who do you think will enjoy it the most? I'd say probably four to seven. It's a great bedtime story. Um, it's not too long, which as a mom, I appreciate not having to go through a five minute story before bedtime. And it's also great for new readers. So it was geared towards the preschool, early elementary. So your mom can read it and then you can start to read it when you're learning to read in kindergarten through second grade. It's, it's just an easy read for everybody. And I also have it geared towards teachers because I wanted to do something for our awesome teachers that could be a complete lesson plan. So you could read the book, 
There's 10 questions at the back, five on diversity and differences, five on kindness. And then I also have coloring page PDFs that they can have. So it can be just a really easy, fun lesson on diversity or kindness for teachers. People are very excited. I know that this has only been out for a couple of weeks, but do you have anything else that you're working on or maybe something else that we can expect to come in the near future or future? Yes, I have a lot of stories written up and I'm very excited that I'm going to use one of the characters from Good to Be Me in the next book, whether it's a character in the background or another main character. I'm going to use one of them to just keep it going. And that's my plan to have one new character that's in the book highlighted as a main character in all of my next books. So the story will continue. Well, Jessica, thank yes. you so much for being with us here on Virginia this morning. We'll be sure to link to more information inside this story on our website so people can find you on social media and also where they can purchase the book. Thank you so much. Thank you.